Hello everyone, this is Rachel with the Body Top Family YMCA. Welcome to our 5 p.m. moderate fit class. So I'm just gonna wait a couple seconds for people to hop on here and then we'll go ahead and get started. So comment below, let me know if you're working out with me live here at 5 p.m. Monday, or if you're catching the replay, I'd love to hear that you're, you're still working out with me just at a different day and time. So what you'll need for this workout, it's gonna be all standing and moving. You'll need one set of hand weights, possibly two, if you like to switch it up. All right, Melody and Becky are ready to go with me. Awesome job. We'll just wait a couple more seconds, and then we are gonna start our timers and get going. So how this workout's gonna go, we're going to start off with about five or six minute cardio uh, warm up and then into our cardio session. And then we're gonna alternate between a strength training move, we're gonna do a balance and core move, and then we're gonna do a cardio move. We're gonna do a couple of that, and then we're gonna do two rounds of everything. So you at least get to do um, at least two sets, okay? Now, when I show you the core and balance move, you can choose whether you want to use hand weights or not. All right, are you guys ready to go? Let's go ahead and get started. All right, I got my watch going. All right, here we go. So we're gonna start with across the body, toe taps. All right, so we're angling that toe. There we go. You can go on the beat or off the beat. It's totally up to you. So tap, tap. All right. I'll go a little faster so I can stay on the beat. But as you know, when we pick up those weights and we start doing strength training, we're gonna go slower than the beat. We don't wanna rush. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. So we're actually crossing the body. So you can feel that core already starting to warm up, fire up and be engaged. Here we go. So just let those arms sway. We're tapping with that toe. All right, let's change the toe to a heel dig, all right? So still going across the body to those corners, all right? So heel, heel, heel. There we go. Happy Monday, you guys. I'm so glad that you are joining me today for this 30-minute moderate fit class. This is gonna be an all-standing circuit with strength training, balance, core, and cardio. All right, back to those toe taps in four, three, two, one, tap, 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 tap. There we go. So going across the body still, four toe taps, then four heel digs. Here we go, in four, three, two, one, heel dig, four, three, two, one more set, set, one more set. That's what I was trying to say really fast. Now heel day, four, three, two, one. All right, shake it out. All right, beat our hip width. We're gonna do a side step. We're gonna move our body to the side and then take that inner leg and tap it twice. So step, tap, tap, step, tap, tap. Now we're gonna be off the beat with this and that's okay. Step, tap, tap. Step, tap, tap. There we go. So nice, good side step. Move your body from side to side. And that inner leg goes tap, tap with that toe. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. One, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. Tap, tap, couple more. Four, three, two, last one. All right, come back to the middle. All right, we're gonna do some alternating back taps. Looks like this, back, back, back tap, back tap. Okay, we're gonna add our arms in just a second. Tap back. So our feet are hip width and we're just tapping back. So make sure your feet are not too narrow. All right, let's engage that core by putting out those arms and we're gonna do claps to the front. It looks like this. Tap, 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 tap. So tap and clap. There we go. Tap and clap. So my arms are straight. 
Nice good posture, upright. There we go. Clap and tap. We want to get that heart rate slowly starting to increase, warming up those muscles so we're ready for that strength training segment. All right, here we go. In four, three, two, one. All right, our feet are wide. We're gonna do a skater. So taking the opposite leg, we're doing a tap back and return. Tap back, return. So we can do a little faster. Skate, return, skate, return. Here we go, skate, skate, skate. So taking that foot, tapping behind the opposite heel. Engaging that core, we're twisting left to right. There we go, hip to hip. Skate, skate. There we go. Gonna make sure I pick up my feet good on this carpet, on this rug. There we go. Skate, skate. All right, can you make those arms a little bigger to the front now? There we go. Skate. All right, keep going. Making sure we're live. Seeing our people on. There we go. Skate, skate. All right, let's do a couple more in four. In three, two, one. All right, feet hip width. We're gonna go to our kickbacks. Looks like this, back leg curls. There we go, curl, 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 curl. All right, let's go to front clap. Clap, 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 clap. So we can have bent arms now. When we were doing that back tap, our arms were straight with that clap. We can just do a regular clap now. There you go. Curl, 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 curl. Woo! How are our legs feeling? My legs and hips are all warmed up now. I don't know about you guys. All right, a couple more. Four, three, two, one. All right. Feet hip width. All right, let's go back to that side step where we're just stepping out, coming back. We're not doing that inner leg tap now. Okay, we we're doing that side tap, tap. We're just gonna go from side to side right now. All right, we're almost done with our cardio portion because we're not done with our cardio, all right? We're gonna do a strength training move, a core imbalance move, which you can use your weights or not use your weights, okay? And then a cardio move. We have three sets of that in two rounds. All right, reach, reach, reach. Four, three, two, one. We're done. All right, roll those shoulders nice, good breath up, and exhale. All right, grab a sip of water if you need it, and we're going to grab our weights and start our timer. We have 40 seconds of a movement, 20 seconds of a transition, okay? All right, our first move. We're doing a deadlift. Now, before I start the timer, let me talk you through the deadlift. My legs are gonna stay straight, feet are hip width, my knees are soft. My arms are straight, my back is straight. As I come down, I'm sticking out my butt, okay? I'm gonna come down as safely as I can and come up and squeeze, squeeze those glutes. Okay, we're gonna go down and we're just gonna do just a regular deadlift and then we're gonna build on from there. Are we ready? In three, two, one, here we go. So down and up. So with 40 seconds, round one, you are picking maybe a lighter weight than what you're used to because I want you to master and learn all of these moves before you go heavier, okay? So we're just doing a regular deadlift, up and down, and then we're gonna add on from there. But I want you to feel confident that you're doing this deadlift properly. <coughs> so my feet are hip width, I'm coming down and up. You've picked your weight that you feel comfortable for you to last this 40 seconds, okay? And time. All right, let me show you the next core balance move. You decide whether you want weights or no weights. Your feet are in a staggered stance, and you're doing a rocking motion from toe to heel, toe to heel. So you're rocking back and forth. So you can either do weights or no weights. 
All right, here we go, 40 seconds. So this is our balance and core work. So we're rocking up and down. Now, if you have those weights, you can keep them down because we're focusing on our core and our balance nice and steady. But if you want the extra weight, you're holding onto your weights down by your side, rocking up and back. So toe and heel. Now we're in a little bit of a staggered stance, not like a lunge or anything, so that we don't lose our balance, okay? We will work on our balance, not lose our balance. <laughs> there we go. And time. Okay, if you have your weights, put them off to the side, because now we're doing a little bit of a cardio. Okay, we're coming up wide, coming back narrow for our V-step, okay? We're gonna do that for 40 seconds. We can do punches or not, okay? In three, two, one, here we go. So up, up, back, back. There we go. Now this is your cardio, you don't have weights, so you're going as fast as you want to, okay? That's why our cardio session at the beginning was brief, it was only about six minutes, because we're adding a little bit of cardio in at the end of each segment. There we go, all right, here's your optional. Punch, 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 there we go. Up, up, back, back, up, up, back, back. Now, you certainly can jump up and jump back, jump up wide, come back narrow, if you want that high impact. Look at that, for 40 seconds is already done. Okay, pick up those weights again. Strength training, we're adding on to that deadlift. So when you come down for that deadlift, when you come up, your hands here, come up to an upright row, all right? They don't go above shoulder. We're not shrugging our shoulders, coming up to here. Here we go, 40 seconds, one deadlift, one upright row. Then go back to that deadlift, and then go back to that upright row, okay? So we've added on now. Slow and steady. Now I personally picked lighter weights today. Um, because I am nursing a hurt shoulder. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to keep it easy and I may set my weights down periodically, but I want you to keep pushing for as long as you can during this 40 second session, okay? All right, and time. Okay, so our core, we're gonna take that foot, we're gonna wrap it behind the other and we're doing a calf raise, a single leg calf raise. Now, again, for your core imbalance, we're staying nice and steady, upright, with weights down by our hands or without. Here we go, 40 seconds. Wrap that foot around that ankle, <coughs> excuse me, and up and down. So if your hands are down, it's kind of helping you with balance, or hands on your hips. So let me show you from the side. My foot is wrapped around that ankle. We're going up and down, up, and down, with or without weights, like I said, is optional for that balance and core. You'll get, obviously, a little bit more strength training in. Now, if this is too much and you keep losing your balance, okay, you can always have your toe a little close by, like this, if that kind of helps you. All right, and time. All right, shake it out. Okay, our cardio. We're gonna work on our legs. We're gonna stay low, as low as you can the whole time. We're doing rear, lunges, we're doing pulses. So one, two, we're gonna do a bubble, double pulse. So you're staying down low. I don't want you to come up. I want you to stay down low. All right, 40 seconds, here we go. So one, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, if you have to come up, then stand up and then go back. There we go. One, two, one, two. This is your cardio. So you can go as fast as you want to, faster than the music. Faster than me. I want you to feel those legs at the end. They're gonna be burning. Double, 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 double. There we go. All right, we can do it. We got four more seconds left. And time. Woo! All right, pick up those weights. That deadlift time. We're adding on deadlift, upright row to front raise. Looks like this. So you know how to do your deadlift, you know how to do your upright row. When you come down, go into your front raise, okay? 
So this is where I said I'm probably going to drop my weights because of my shoulder. So our deadlift, upright row, and then front raise. All right, continue with me. Deadlift, upright row, down, front raise. Awesome job. And then front raise. So when we do that front raise, it's gonna be shoulder height, okay? There we go. Deadlift, upright row, and front raise. All right, keep going. This is the last time that we're adding on to this deadlift. And time. Okay, with or without weights for that core. Feet are hip width, holding that weight. And we're just gonna be doing a figure eight, okay? So that's with the weight, one dumbbell, or your hands are clasped, feet are hip width. Here we go. Now we don't have as much balance work with this one. This is more core. So your hands are clasped and you're just doing a figure eight, an eight that's laying on its side. Okay, you can do a big one where you're doing more from left to right, or you can keep it small. There we go. But my knees are soft. It's like I'm grounded in to the floor, okay? So I'm not staying straight up with my knees pushed in or anything. Nice, good stance. You guys are doing awesome. We only have one more exercise and we're halfway through. And time. All right. One side only, so you can go ahead and mirror me so you don't have to remember what we're doing. Our squat, rear lunge, to curtsy lunge, all right? This is our cardio. Okay, squat, rear, curtsy, one side only. Are we ready to rock it? Here we go. Squat, rear, curtsy, reset. Here we go. We're a little fast. Oh, I forgot about squat. There we go, squat, rear, curtsy. You can go faster than me, slower than me, whatever you need to do. Squat, rear, curtsy, one side. Squat, rear, curtsy, reset. This is our cardio. One side, here we go. Woo, we're done. Okay, get a quick drink of water, catch your breath. All right, that was round one. We have one more round. Okay, so I want you to decide with this round. Do you want to go heavier than you just did in round one? Do you want to use weights during the core session? Do you not want to use weights? All right, listen to your body and what you can do today, okay? Are we ready? So remember, round two, we start with just that deadlift. Deadlift only, we're not adding on right now. Are we ready? In three, two, three. One, all right, here we go, round two. All right, feet hip width, hands holding those dumbbells, straight up and down with that dead lift. Okay, my back is straight, my arms are straight, my legs are straight, my knees are soft though, okay? I don't want you to have a curved back. I don't want you to go down so low like this either because then you're gonna hurt your lower back, okay? So we're going about halfway. Coming back up, there we go. You're gonna master the deadlift at the end of this because we've got so many, don't we? <laughs> so in about 40 seconds, and time. So in about 40 seconds, you can probably do about 10, 12 reps depending on how fast you're going. Okay, let's do that staggered stance with or without weights for that core. We're rocking back and forth. Remember, we're going toe to heel, toe to heel. Okay, either hold your weights down or get rid of your weights. Here we go. So front and back. So rocking, so when we're rocking, our feet are hip width. That's gonna help us with our balance. So get on your tippy toes, then rock back on your heels. I know sometimes when you're rocking back on your heels, you start to feel a little wobbly, like you're trying to catch yourself so you don't fall over, that's good. If you're working hard with that core, that balance, especially so if you have those weights down by your side. All right, keep going. We're almost done. 
and time. All right, lose those weights if you have them, because now we're going to that cardio push. The V step coming up wide, coming back narrow, and punches. Are we ready? Let's get that breath. In three, two, one, here we go. So up, up, back, back. Up, up, back, back. As fast or as slow as you want. Punch, 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 punch. There we go. Punch, punch. Now when you're coming up, you can sink down, all right, and use more of those leg muscles and glutes. Glutes, hamstrings, thighs, front, front, back, back. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. All right, we're doing it. We're strong, we're awesome. We're already in round two. We know what to expect. All right, shake it out. You got 20 seconds, we don't have to rush. Pick your weight to do that deadlift and upright row. So we're adding back on. Okay, feet hip width, arms straight. All right, coming down for that deadlift and upright row. Are we ready? Here we go, 40 seconds. And up, deadlift and upright row. Nice, good, smooth transition from one movement to the other. Getting that total body in today. There we go. And up. Keep going. Less than five seconds and we're gonna put the weights down if you want to for that core balance and time. Okay, taking that other foot Wrapping back around the ankle, remember this? So hands down, and we're just coming up and down on the tippy toe, all right? Weight or no weight, but make sure you have that opposite leg now wrapped around the other to come up on that calf raise. And remember your option, okay? Here we go, 40 seconds. Remember that option, if you don't want to wrap that foot around the ankle, you can keep it up so you're still balancing, okay? Up and down. All right, weights down here. You're adding a lot more leg work. Weight to the legs. Up and down. There we go. Woo, a little wobbly. That's okay, we're working. <laughs> you know, one side it tends to be a little more stronger than the other. So we always do at least two rounds of everything so we can work on both sets. Okay, our left side and our right side. One's more dominant than the other. All right, let's shake it out. All right, those rear lunge pulses. So remember, this is standing upright. We wanna sink down, okay? One, two, reset. One, two, reset. I want you to go for as back as you can, safely with that lunge, okay? Coming up and switching. All right, here we go. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. There we go. You're not moving, I'm moving. <laughs> I like to show you guys different angles, that way you can see me straight on, and then if you need to see me from the side, I, I wanna make sure that you can see me from different angles so you have good posture and know how we're doing this. It's hard on the camera to know what all you guys are seeing. All right, if you join me for cardio step this morning at nine, I know your legs are burning like mine, and time. Whew. All right, pick up those weights. Last time for deadlifts, you guys. Last time. All right. Now remember, our deadlift, our upright row, and then our front raise. Okay? So you're holding on to your weights. Here we go. Deadlift, upright row. Then when you come down, going to that front raise. There we go. So I'm listening to my body, and I've been overdoing it the last week with my shoulder. So I'm taking it easy, so I'll be able to go 100% by the end of the week. There we go. Deadlift, upright row, front raise. 
and time. All right, pick up that one dumbbell for that core exercise. All right, are we ready? Feet hip width, nice good stance, holding that dumbbell like this. And we're doing that figure eight, okay? Or your hands are clasped. Here we go, 40 seconds. Last core balance exercise. Keep going, keep going. Shout out to all of you who have stuck with me this whole workout, our 30 minute moderate fit workout. I know Becky's working hard. I know Melody's working hard. Yes, Melody must have done my cardio step class this morning. I apologize, I don't remember names who took it this morning. But her legs are burning too. All right, couple more. In four, three, two, one. All right, shake it out, put that weight down. We have our last cardio movement. And then we're gonna go for some nice good breathing, cool down, balance, stretching exercises. All right, other side now, that squat, rear lunge to curtsy lunge. Okay, are we ready for that? Here we go, last time, squat, lunge, curtsy lunge, reset. You can go faster than me. I have a hard time getting off the beat, you guys. <laughs> I like using the beat. Which is why I try not to pick too fast of a beat when we're doing strength training. I don't want you to feel like you're going really fast. Squat, lunge, curtsy, reset. Can we do one more? Squat, lunge, curtsy, reset, and you're done. Woo! All right, kick out those weights. Kick out those legs, put down those weights. You guys have done awesome. All right, just little side steps from side to side. And then we're gonna kick it out. Slowly kick it out. All right, my timer's going off because we completely, successfully finished our rounds our stations and our rounds. All right, so we're kicking to the corners. There we go. Kind of like we were doing before with our heel dig and our toe taps we did in the warm up. All right, four, three, two, one. All right, feet hip width. All right, we gotta do a couple more squats, you guys, but we're gonna do low. All right, here we go, four, Three, two, one. Then up. Two, three, four. One more. Four, three, two, one. Then up. Two, three, four. Roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders back. Two more. One more. All right. Heel. Bring your heels and your legs up to knee lifts. Knee. Knee. Slow knee lifts. All right, raising the heel, raising the toe. Up off the floor. Here we go, four, three, two, one. All right, nice good wide stance. Toes are facing me. We're just lightly shifting from left to right. All right, we wanna get our heart rate down because we were ending each little cycle with a cardio burst. So you guys did amazing with your strength training. Comment below when we're all done. Let me know how you did, if you caught me live or if you're catching the replay. Let me know if you used your weights in the core session or if you just used weights with strength training. Let me know how you did and I'd love to see you back for another workout. I'm gonna be teaching moderate fit on Friday at 5 p.m. And again, we have classes tomorrow so and every day for the whole week. So make sure you're checking out our Facebook page so you know who's gonna be teaching tomorrow and at what time and what class. All right, just a couple more. Four, three, two, one. All right, we have some incredible instructors who are teaching while we are closed doing these Facebook Live workouts. 
If you're enjoying these workouts, enjoying the instructors and formats, we would love for you to tag your friends, to like, share the video so that people know that we're taking this time to still continue to do workouts with you guys and to build our community. Okay, we're trying to keep ourselves accountable to our workouts every day. All right, we're stretching our calf right now. Both feet are flat on the floor and my weight is evenly distributed between the front and the back, okay? All right, arms up and exhale. And if you join a friend, if you ask a friend to join you, if you tag a friend, then it would be awesome because then the two of you guys know that you're coming on to do a Facebook Live video, whatever workout you choose to do, and you're keeping yourselves accountable to that choice. And you may be more apt to show up to a workout every day. All right, release those hands, let's switch those legs. I know sometimes I don't feel like getting up and doing my workout, but it always helps knowing that you're going to report to someone, that you're going to feel better and strong and empowered afterwards after you do that workout. All right, we've switched legs, and we're just stretching out those arms right now. And straight up and tall. Nice good breaths in and out. How are we doing for a time? Okay, we're almost done. All right, nice good arm circles front and back as we're holding this calf. Stretch. All right, reset. Let's do one more big breath in together. And a good exhale out. Amazing job. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Again, my name is Rachel with the Bada Top Family YMCA, and this was our moderate fit class. I hope that you will join me for another moderate fit class on Friday at 5 p.m. Otherwise, hop on here tomorrow, Tuesday, and check out what we have in store for you the whole week, all right? Happy Monday, and I'll work out with you guys soon. Bye.